Unity's high-definition render pipeline includes new material features to get the most out of your shaders. The high-definition render pipeline, or HDRP for short, includes new shader workflows that take advantage of pipeline features such as layered lit shader, hair shader, fabric shader, and decal shader. In this video, we'll walk you through one of the shaders you'll use most frequently in HDRP, the lit shader. When we create a new material in the high-definition render pipeline, the material will default to use the lit shader. The lit shader is the best way to create realistic materials in the high-definition render pipeline, which respond to lighting. Let's take a look at how we can design a material for use with the lit shader and explore some of its features. Let's create a new material and assign it to our floor tile here. The lit shader supports many different material types and allows us to define special properties in our materials, such as subsurface scattering, iridescence, or translucency. For now, though, we'll explore what we can do with the standard material type. The lit shader uses a physically-based shading model. The physically-based shading model simulates interactions with light in the real world and responds in a consistent way under various lighting conditions. Artists working with the lit shader should follow real-world guidelines for the best-looking result. The standard material type uses a metallic and smoothness workflow to define how metallic a material is and calculates the interactions with light based on these parameters. Generally, we can achieve most types of real-world materials using these two input values. As we increase or decrease the metallic value, notice how our material reflects or absorbs more light. Similarly, as we increase or decrease the smoothness value, notice how our material becomes more or less glossy and reflective. We can adjust the color of our material using the color picker, and we can also use the base map to add a color texture to our material. So let's add the floor texture to our material here. This has given us a nice and smooth floor tile that looks like it's been polished recently. We want our scene to look a bit less clinical, however, so let's rough it up a bit. We can assign a normal map to add surface detail, such as bumps, grooves, and scratches to our material. This will allow our material to catch and simulate light being caught by details that are not present in the mesh geometry. Let's add the normal map to give our floor tile a bit more character. Now that we've added our normal map, our metallic and smoothness values are exaggerating parts of our geometry, and it doesn't look quite right yet. We can more finely control parts of the material's surface properties using a mask map. A mask map contains different surface information packed into the red, green, blue, and alpha channels of an image. The red channel stores the metallic map, the green channel stores the ambient occlusion map, the blue channel stores the detail mask map, and the alpha channel stores a smoothness map. If we assign the floor mask to our material, we have a much more realistic mapping of both the metallic and smoothness values, and our material looks a lot more realistic. Finally, we can add a detail map to add micro details into the material. Much like our mask map, each channel of the detail map stores values our shader will use to render the micro details onto our material. Keep in mind that detail maps are always applied and may cause aliasing issues when viewed far too far away. At this point, you'll want to rely on a level of detail mesh with a more simple material. The red channel stores the grayscale as albedo. The green channel stores the green channel of the normal map. The blue channel stores the smoothness and the alpha channel stores the red channel of the normal map. If we apply this metal detail map to our material, it now has more of a brushed and aged quality to it. By combining texture maps and settings in our lit shader materials like this, we can create a multitude of realistic looking materials. There are many high-end games and applications that currently make use of photographed assets to provide highly detailed and incredibly realistic environments for users to explore. The High Definition Render Pipeline includes a layered lit shader that's perfect for texturing assets built with photogrammetry in mind. The layered lit shader allows us to stack up to four different lit shader materials together into one material. I've got a model of a rock here that I'd like to texture using some of our photogrammetry assets. We can create a new layered lit shader material by opening the Create menu and choosing Material. Then, in the dropdown, choose HDRP, Layered Lit. The layer list shows the current materials assigned to this material. We can control the number of layers in this material using the layer count property in the surface input options. Let's set this to three layers, and then in the layer list, let's assign the materials we'd like to use. 
It's worth noting that each material is stacked based on their order in the list. So here, the main layer is the bottommost layer, and layer 2 is the topmost layer. Because the ground material is set as our topmost layer, it's currently textured over the entire rock. Instead, I'd like it to only appear on the bottom part of our mesh. So let's assign a layer mask to the material and designate how our layers should be rendered on our object. In the inspector, we can view all of the surface input options on each of our stacked materials and tweak them to get the best look for our object. We can also use the layering options to control how much our main layer influences the layers above. For instance, we can increase the base color influence on our stone layer to mix some of the albedo color from our main layer into the final output. The layered lid shader is a powerful feature of the high definition render pipeline and allows you to share textures between assets and add variations to your materials easily. For more information on building a layered material and for more information on using photogrammetry in Unity, follow the link in the description below. The lid shader and the layered lid shader are just two of the many powerful material shaders available for use with the high definition render pipeline. In a follow up video, we'll discuss some of the additional material shaders included in the pipeline, such as the decal shader that allows you to project textures and images into your scene, the hair shader that allows you to create realistic looking hair or fur, and the fabric shader that gives you the ability to create realistic looking fabric materials like cotton or silk. For more information on shaders and materials in the high definition render pipeline, follow the link in the description below. Thanks for watching.